David uh, limps under the gun oh. with the king eight, and, and Paul picks up pocket rockets. He gets a call behind by the jack nine suited. PP, let's, looks like PP puts in the call. Hoppa with the standard call on the button. And uh, Jay flicks it in, and David flicks it in. So, uh, right. you know, pocket aces, great hand, but when you're, when you're six ways, uh, you got a lot to worry about. That's, that's the worst. And, uh, and on that board, <laughs> on the, PP that, has a great hand here, you know. Uh, he does. Cut shot to the nut straight yeah. with the flush draw. That's why he, he actually has more equity than pocket aces here. Yeah, it's a, it's a great hand. The 6-9, especially when suited. Preferably of hearts, but in this case, I'm glad, or I'm sure he's glad he has the diamonds. I like the check uh, by Paul. Um despite having uh, such a great hand. Uh, there's a lot of hands that beat him. Get the flick in the call here, and he does. Mark with a great fold, with the jack nine suited. Mm. PB does not improve, but he's still got a great hand. Um, that queen definitely takes his equity down a lot though. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I think PP is going to come with a really, really big bet here. He goes with a seventy-five percent pot. I think I think he can go for for something like a two X pot there um, if he's dealing real spicy. Um, but even even with the three K three K bet, Paul's still in a very tough position with his pocket aces. He does not have a diamond, which. Uh, which makes his call, or makes this a little bit of an easier call. See what develops on the on the river here. Is there a bink? No, there's not. That was all, all, he had the world. PB had the world, but he now missed it all. Does PB go massive? I think he will. He has he has that nine. Um, Jack nine of diamonds. Uh, Paul certainly certainly could have had this whole time, so he he blocks jack nine of diamonds, and I think it's a it's a great spot to blast off. I wouldn't twelve thousand. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes a little over a pot. Um, oh, just yeah. ripped it. Yeah, let's go. I love I love the all in from PP here. Um, it's about two x pot. Paul's in a really tough spot. But if he can find this call, he's going to be in a beautiful spot. Oh, he will be. I did. I did. This is a GG moment. It's a great game. I did try to hype Paul up before the stream. After losing yesterday, I was like, "Today you're gonna win forty-five thousand dollars." Like I don't know how long that takes, but you will. And he's like, "I appreciate that." Be very well on his way there with uh, with the call here. You know, he doesn't. He doesn't have a, a diamond in his hand. Um, in a top spot. You know, he doesn't. He doesn't block hands like Ace Nine of Diamonds, which would. Uh, or ace jack of diamonds, which might uh, might might think this is a great card to to blast off on. Yeah, and if you're PP, the fact that Paul hasn't snap folded, you're hating this. So, if you guys are watching, one in the chat for call, two for fold. Let me know what you think's gonna happen. One for call, two for fold. PP not giving much away, as far as I can tell. See the sweat just on Paul's forehead, using every bit of calories and brain thinking power. Looks like Paul m might have a few time shifts. I expect him to to use them if he if he does. But uh... seeing some ones in chat, Aaron B from Florida says two. Guys, get your votes in. We got plenty of time. TP, you messed me up here. It's a big, <laughs> big hand. Oh, I love seeing Paul in tough spots. He always, he always says uh, funny things like that. Forty-eight thousand three hundred dollars in the middle. He puts he in the, the call. call. Wow, what a great oh, yeah. call from Paul. Yeah. Nice. It's gonna take that pot down. 
I like the I like the way both players uh, played their hands. Yeah. He blocks so many good hands. He blocks the six the six seven for the straight. He blocks the jack nine for the nuts. Um, but you know, sometimes when you have aces, you just gotta you just gotta flick it in, no matter how bad the board Eric. is. text from my friend saying I was talking way too much. My girlfriend told me I was talking too way, way too much. Your girlfriend would know, right? Oh, she does would. Does she play? Uh, she does not play. But she knows um, you. She knows me. Um, and she was watching the stream and... Told you to shut up. Uh, she, she did not. She told me after. I, I wish one of them, <laughs> uh, you know, told me when I could have done something about it. Well, that's good feedback. So Hoppe raises uh, early position with the 4-5 suited, standard, and uh, these low suited connectors, especially the 4-5, happen to be uh, some of my favorite hands. Like the 7-5? 4-5? Yeah, I, I like all the calls behind. I don't like the 7-5 as much, but uh, the 5-4 have been the winners of some of my, my biggest pots. So uh, looks like we get calls around. Um, Jake could go for a three bet there. L three bet to twenty two hundred there. Yeah, I really, I really like that three bet by L. Uh, you block a lot of really good hands. Um, I think if, I think Hoppe would look for a call, but he has so many players behind, and if a lot of them start flatting, the SPR for the uh, four yeah is is going to be is going to be way too high for a pseudo connector, which you want to really play um, in a deep pot. Okay, let's see a flop. Jay's going to make a call. Jared's going to let it go. And, and Hoppe was exactly right. He was going to get two flats behind. Dave is not going anywhere. Um, didn't see a pseudo connector he didn't love. Yeah, this is a great This is a great hand to crack some uh, those premium two hands, pairs. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Peter. But That's certain flops could J and L can really five get, get interesting. Oh, oh. Yeah. Nobody hit much. Not much at all. I think L will put in a C bet. He's an aggressive player. Yeah. Right on the money. Good deal, Rodrigo. Great dealer. Yeah, Jay's kind of put in a tough spot here. He uh I think in a heads-up pot, he would probably elect for a call. He elects for a call anyways, and L's going to put in a call. David's got a gutter, right? Yeah. yeah. Me and the hand. Or excuse me, David. Door. He's got a David, door and a yeah. Gutter, yeah. I don't think David's going anywhere. So that's the he's oh. definitely not. I think he's going between call and blasting off. Thank you. He's going to call. He's gonna call. He's got a gutter and a back door. Huh? Oh, Picked and that's a very there. interesting card. Yep. Jay's probably almost definitely going to get bet out of this pot. We already did it. L's going to put in a bet, and David. Uh, okay. Thank you. David could get a little tricky here, but L's not that deep. It's a good so turn for L to represent, right? L, is L shoving here? Twelve. If I was L, I think I would just stick it in as yeah, well. Yeah, he, he, he does that. Uh, um, David's thinking. Ends up his GM ends up being about uh, already. half pot or so. What's the club draw? David's <laughs> <laughs> David's put in a really tough spot here. Um, David's he, just twenty seven percent here. Yeah, he's. I think I that's a nice play by all. See what's coming. It is. It's not David. The right does, David doesn't call. fold draws anyway. Let's see. I think he just said, "I'll see what's coming." Two hundred more. Okay. Two more. Yeah. Oh, he's nope. calling. He makes the call. Gamble, yeah. gamble. David, both gamble. Oh, he oh, got there. Oh, and he hits on the river. Cairo, hand number 41. David does put in his first gamble, beat, boys. so to speak, almost. He was had some good equity there on the turn. Yeah. But he was still, he does 27%. Yeah, you, you don't call the 5-7 to fold. Yeah, you fold. I said backdoor clubs were coming in. Uh, nice hand, David. Uh -huh. So David's coming back. <laughs> and he had the and he had a good hand. Right, you're might, have folded. might have oh, folded. Might have folded. Yeah, Giving away my age a bit. I wrote the first cover story. I wrote Patrick. I wasn't gonna go small. I'll tell you that much. He was kind enough to invite me. When would that happen? Don't tell me. What year would happen? At least two. I think I know it off the top of my head. 
He had never had a cover story, but he, I knew he was up and coming player just watching him, mainly cash games. He was playing in Bobby's room and done a little bit of damage in tournaments, I think the five diamond. But you could tell he like right? had a lot of game. I look forward to my first cover okay, story. Okay. What was it called? The poker assassin? No, I. Okay, Paul. Poker. He's like a panther at the table. Keep that. I told you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep that in. Hold it. Like that. L squeezing from the hijack, raising to four hundred dollars with his nine seven suited. J with pocket sixes. Papa with the ace queen off in the big blind. Mark makes the call with four three suited. No, you you can't. You can't. And here's the three bet from Hoppa to two thousand. Back over to J. I've been doing it for years. I like the way you do. Jay with six is under the gun. He does have position on Hoppa. How does he want to play this? I need to have serious game for Let's it go. Lost this today. L, who made the original raise to 400. Very, very bad this today. Yeah. I have to come back and play with better. Okay. Mm. Puts in that stack of white 100s, makes the call. Hoppa's not that deep. Either is uh, L. Let's see. I don't see Mark continuing with four three of hearts, but what do I know? Yeah, they're not deep enough. Just don't let it go. Thinking about it though. He's on the button. But he's gonna let it go. He feels like it's gonna hit. Watch. That's what you do. He's like, yeah, this is gonna be the best hand. Close your eyes. I'll let you know when it's all over. He would have hit a pair, but no, he would have flopped a straight. He had four five, right? Four three. Four three oh. You're right. He was right. Gut shot for L needs an eight. I'm probably gonna see that. A little over half pot. Else gonna come along. Any club on the turn is gonna turn this hand up. So now L has a flush draw. Eight would also give him the nut straight. Yep. Mark probably still kicking himself for folding a straight, a slap straight. Yeah, tough call, bro. Yeah. L picked up some equity on this turn. He's going to fire out and probably take it down. Just ripped it. Oh, just saw that. I like. I really like his lines, his choices. He did this before and took it down. And um, Hop is a little suspicious. I don't think he can call. But he's definitely suspicious. Now, with two flush draws out there, if Hoppe can really put him on just a straight flush draw and realize that his ace is good, but he has to dodge the world. That's what he's thinking. He has to dodge an eight or any spade, seven and nine. So if you count those outs, six outs for pairs. We're still a 63% favor, but still, it's four, a nice, nice bet. Four outs for eights, it's 10 outs, and then all the spades that are left. So quite a bit of outs. I'd say it's at least over 15 ounces no. in, in reality. <laughs> yeah. Easier way to solve that in this hand because the graphics also take into, ca into account the card elimination is if you would have took that 37% divided by two, that's how many ounces he has. You like how the math You're just math, trying to show off thing? your math there, man? I, I actually was. You didn't really I was me. impressed. You didn't say anything. You were speechless. Uh, because, but I was. I couldn't talk for a second. I was just like, wow. The math like, does math. I was like, I just broke that down professionally. He's going to call. Wow. Here we go. And I think we should see the outs at the top of the screen. Okay. You know? I wanted to show you my professional poker player. Act, act LL here. is not happy with the call, but you know, he, he's made a great play. Do you have it? Oh he's going, no. <laughs> Do you have it? No. <laughs> Got to dodge some bullets here, Hoppa. Why the suspense? <laughs> yeah, they just went. Suspense on the river. If it's like in a graphic they have to show or something. Here, here we, we go. go. Oh, there you go. Uh, five of clubs. 
Four clubs. Papa scoops. Nice. Thirty thousand dollar pot. Good read. And and wow. and El is a bit surprised that he got that call. Look at that. Still, I, like, I, think, I like his play though. If you were to ask Hoppe why he made that call, where he that puts him on drawing straight hands, drawing flush. Hands. Exactly. For he, the knows, kind of he knows he's ahead. Shaken, not stood. No, he raised. He, nice he call, raised, Paul. But there was like four. I had to get out of my chair and watch that hand. Everybody called. Yeah. Raised three hundred. Maybe he'll be a little more talkative now, Shem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I certainly hope so. I love listening to that guy talk and his, his banter. And sounds like it's already starting. So Mark raises the 7-5 clubs, and he, he gets a few flats behind with some uh, suited connectors, suited gap throughs, and uh, the 8-7 from David in the small blind. This is definitely a spicy flop. Hits everybody. Uh, Mark's, Mark's got the flush draw, PP with the top pair, Jay with a couple of clubs on his own, and David with the gutter. Nobody no surprise, they all flat behind. I just thought for your sake, they gave you the GG moment, Paul. Fuck, you, GG. you got the GG moment, Paul. It's not a problem. Ace of diamonds. Uh, so nobody's too thrilled about this hand except for... Pippi. Well, Pippi had top pair, but now he's got top pair and a little bit of backup to go along with it. Uh, in case he's behind. And turn checks around and a complete blank on the river. Where's Wayne? I need to ask him about that. Jay, Jay has a, a three, but Dave, I was like going to say David likes to fire in these yeah. spots. <laughs> when he thinks no one's got much of anything, David tends to fire. Yeah. Might just work. Mark's going to fold. PP. Suspicious. Yeah, PP, PP is definitely a sticky player. I I wouldn't be surprised if he puts in the call. Yeah, looks like he's going to call. Yep. Nice call. Call. Jay thinking about it. He does not have a terrible spot to put in a raise. Uh, if anybody's floating the flop with pocket threes, he blocks that. Um, he could think nobody has much of anything either, and he... Uh, Oh, he goes for the raise. I was just fucking around. I like the yeah, raise. We know David was fucking around. It looks like he goes for... I had definitely what would you think 7, of his this raise here if you were Pippi? I would think it looks really <laughs> suspicious. Um, I would expect a, a six to, to raise at some point. Um, really? Yeah. No. And also, oh. <laughs> also the raise is a little bit small. Um, I believe... No way. David led out for uh, 23. Uh, PB called and, and Jay made it 7K. Uh, I think I would have liked maybe maybe like a 10K raise or, or maybe even a little bit bigger. What do you think Jay is trying to make it look like? Very uh, value. That's, that's a good question. Um, I think he... It's the most animated PP has been a whole night. Yeah, I think he realizes he, he has a three and blocks the pocket threes. Um, it's... It, in my opinion, on the, being on the button last act, it's really hard for him to rep the six. Um, I think PP will sniff this one out. He could, he could interpret, and and Jay could be trying to represent um, a weak ace, like a ace something of clubs exactly, that check yeah. back. Makes sense. Six, no Pippi local here in LA? PP is a local. PP is a local. Yeah, PP um, is actually a student at USC. And so, you know, in between his studies, he plays the battle out on the poker table. I've always, you know, the bit where they give you the time banks near the bubble. I'm always like, always. Really? Yeah. Let's see if he can sniff it out. Yeah. And they let him, like, they used to take him away at the yeah. His poker instincts are oh, that's cool. right on the money. He doesn't want to fold this. They should just give you a bunch at the beginning, honestly. Some of these tournaments. PB getting a little hit of yeah. nicotine, a uh, little <laughs> little brain boost. It's, like, it's, 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 whole, it's been yeah. the easiest stretch of the whole tournament. This is like supposed to be the most difficult. Staring stretch down Jay. Time. Good luck with that, Jay. Jay's like a, the same. Yeah. like a rock. Yeah. Like a rock. Yeah. What would you have done with the aces? Did you call it with the aces? You call it? Yeah. Looks like. Uh, 
He's going to use another time shoot. Good about a strike. Yeah. Do you know if these two guys have any history? I do not. Uh, besides the game we played on Sunday, um, I don't know if they have any history, and I'm pretty sure they don't have any history in uh, public games, at least. Keep it down. They can hear in the fucking... <laughs> over there. Take it down. I'll undercut him. You can have mine for 50 bucks. <laughs> going once. Going, going he's going through the hands in his hand, head right now. He's I'm just going to make some at home. <laughs> yeah. One more time chip. One right. Make sure he knows. Okay. Keep it. You only have one time chip left, just so you know. <coughs> Peter, uh, hyper vigilant about the time chips. There's a little, little time chip mishap on Sunday. And oh, so was there? That's why. There was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His guts. No, I'm there. Okay. His gut instinct is telling him to call. Yeah, I think I think he really wants to flick that in. I don't know if the last hand uh, shook him a bit. Yeah, he's looking like he's gonna pull. He's definitely not afraid, but mm, he's back and forth. There's always that balance between stuck and wanting to mm -hmm. to put it in, and uh, stuck and being afraid to put he it in. He just called. Mm. Nice wow. call. What a call by PV. Call. He just sort of closed his eyes and put it forward. Oh, yeah. Nice head, nice yeah. call, great call. We only felt tough like this. All right, fans, uh, this is Shimmy. Thanks for having me for my first time commentary. Shimmy, thank you. Um, I was trying to I, I'm out of here, so enjoy the rest of the stream. Thanks, man. Appreciate you showing up. Yep, thank you, Craig. I know, I know I'm a hat. <laughs>